Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how will you get the application URL from TestNG XML file? Let me answer. It's possible to get the application URL, not only application URL, any other value like a browser name, etc., etc., from TestNG XML file by using parameter tag in TestNG XML file and at the rate parameters annotation above the TestNG test methods. Let me practically demonstrate how to use them to get the application URL from TestNG XML file into the individual test methods. So let's switch to this uh, Eclipse IDE where I have the sample project. Let me close all this stuff, close all. And here we have the sample project. Okay, in this project, we have these three classes containing the test methods and all. Okay, so for example, I'll open the search test or whatever the test. And uh, do you have anything here? No. Or else I'll just do one thing. I'll just go to a the sample test and the project. It's better. And I'll go inside this demo.java. Here a test method is there. Into this test method, I would like to get the data from the or values like application URL and browser name, etc., from the test ng XML file. Okay. So how to do that? For that, first I have to open the test ng XML file. Okay, here. Uh, okay, let me remove all this stuff. I'll just specify the class. Here demo class is mentioned. Demo class. This is a demo class in which we have this uh, test ng test method, right? Now here. The, under the test tag, I'll write down something like parameter, 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 name, name of the parameter is, let's say URL, its value is the application URL value, okay? So it can be like, for example, I'll write uh, some dummy, okay? So why is the dot like that? This application URL, let's say, okay? Like this, we have to create this parameter tag. We have to be there for parameter tag. We have to give the name for that parameter and the value for that parameter. Now, how to get the value of this particular URL parameter from this testng XML file into the demo.java testng test. For that, on the top of at the rate test, write at the rate parameters annotation. In circle, hover the mouse on this and import this from testng. Import this uh, parameters from testng. And after that, here in this, provide curly braces and provide the name of the parameter whose value you want to retrieve from the test XML file into this test method. The name is what URL, right? You remember this is the URL, the same name I have given here. This parameter will be retrieved from the test XML file. And now I'll create something like string app URL. Okay. So from here, it will come here and uh, you can print it out if you want. System.out.println. And here, simply print app URL, okay? Whatever that is received from the TestNG XML file. Now go to the, so don't run this test directly because it will not happen. You have to go to the TestNG, dot, uh, testng XML file, which is passing the parameter. From here only, you have to run. Right click, run as TestNG seat. switch, okay? This demo class will run, which has uh, uh, only one test method. And uh, you see, it has printed. The application URL from where this application URL has come from the testng XML file, it went to the parameters annotation here, and from there it is passed to this parameter, and from this parameter we have printed it out. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. That is how you will get the application URL or browser name from testng XML file. We have simply centralized the application URL or browser name in the testng XML file so that tomorrow. If the application URL changes, if the client changes the application URL and uh, asks you to run all the automation scripts on the new application URL, if you specify the URL in every individual automation test, then it will become very difficult for us to update the URL later. Okay, maintenance will become high. Rather, if all these test methods are uh, retrieving the URL from this testng centralized testng XML file. Then if the application URL changes, I just need to go to the testing XML file and update the URL only at this place so that I don't have to touch the individual automation tests. So fine. So that's the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.